All right, guys, what's up? Welcome back. Welcome back. I'm motivated now, you know? This this thing's back. This thing's back. Um, so, a few months ago, Chum, a little background story. A few months ago, Chum uh, bought the wrong spark plugs, ended up putting it in the car, and blew the first cylinder with, with long compression. Um, the the compression gauge like it moves but it's obviously valves so i recently blew my car too so i wouldn't know i need to give you a whole story on that that's another vlog though for another day <clears throat> um so right now we just received the parts uh we're gonna start taking this car apart hopefully be done by tomorrow so that's it chuck's chuck's still doing good chuck's still doing good. it's my reliable this is my daily i call my chucks you know what i'm saying but feel me we're gonna start working on this for those of you who do know for those of you who don't know obviously this is a rb20 so should be hopefully taking this thing apart today boom pow so right now um our boy cole is taking the car out of the back of benji's house from a little bit of that that's pretty interesting. Um, oh, he got this thing running. Benji, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? At Benji's garage. Yo, go watch his vlog. His vlog is pretty good. I love his vlog. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Yeah, that shit hurt. Big ass soul sponsored by Benji. You know what I'm saying? High Boys Gang. You know what I'm saying? Sponsored by, you know. You know, he's going to be letting us use this garage and be cozy instead of being cold as hell outside. <clears throat> My boy got the tripod. Look, he's going to have his camera right there. I'm going to have well, I got this. I got the thing. I got the thing for you. <laughs> for what? So you can put the iPhone there on the tripod. I got my little tripod. <laughs> Boy, sail, 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 for sail. Put that motor on the stand. motor. That motor. Alright, take that transmission off. You can dump that. That transmission. Three thirty one. Take that, I'll put that on the stand. Imagine RB20 with a 330 trans. Yeah. That's different. They do that. I know. Yeah, E46, the E46 niggas do that. They use the, that's a ZF right there. That's yeah, the but I'm saying RB20 with the, yeah. I've never seen that. Maybe RB26, RB, oh, you got one. RB26, yeah, but I'm saying RB20. Remember, there's not a lot of people who do stuff with RB20s out here. Very few. Very few. Well, well this is two videos right here. That's the, that's the video. This is the video I'm going to finish that I had when I broke, when I stripped the car. Facts. And I got the video. That's, yeah, I'll, be, I'll be right back, guys. So I got two videos. Right now, my boy. All right, y'all ready? Y'all ready? This gonna be here. Already, already. See, magic, boy. You got a mess, boy. This is what we gonna have to do. We got to cut this exhaust off. Take that transmission off. Um, put that motor over there and push this rear end right there. Pause. What? Pause. Pause. And then you could bring Chum's car and just gotta sweep this shit. So that probably closed it for that video I was making before about getting this degree and stripping it. I'm not gonna put that motor on there. I'm gonna leave it there. Taking the fun part. Hmm? I'm doing the fun stuff. Come on. Cutting the exhaust. What is this? This is uh 338! What? W. <laughs> <Dying. laughs> 
<laughs> All right, cleaned out the garage. Okay. Yes, sir. Now, time to get this inside, baby. Damn, you can't show that in the video because it's going to be. Oh, you got to end that one. I'm about to edit it. Nah, but this is. Nah, this is the video. Oh, this. Uh, uh, I got you right now. I got you right now. Nah, I'll edit that part out. I'll just close it. Yeah. Because once that, my last video was taking apart this shit. Nah, I got you. The car and doing the thing. I'm done. Quick time lapse of me disassembling this motor. Stay tuned. Hopefully, we get this out by today. All right, very long process, but uh, got the intake manifold off, top half. Uh, you don't really necessarily need to take this off. This bitch ass nigga hit my fucking finger. My, my fault. Nigga hit my finger trying to take the axle. With a whole sledgehammer with this right here. But yeah, yeah uh, took off the turbo, took off the drain lines and stuff. Cams are out. These have this little bolt right like basically is something to like hold down the head it has it right there it has it right there i know you can somewhat see the hole right there and then one on this side right behind here and these are what they look like this is the one for the front but uh yeah i'm gonna try to mount you guys up so that you could watch me take out this head and we can see the process together i can have it hanging on you right here hold up what I have the... oh, bro that's mad work Boom. see he wants to go through that I didn't know because I didn't have this on my car, but there is something right here to hold the dipstick on this. Technically, this is my like, third time doing it. kind of fake learning still mm. it's already mounted up got you yeah. wait hold on uh, I think so boom perfect angle right there most likely my phone dies, I'm gonna continue this tomorrow. So you're taking the head to the machine shop or something? Nah. So what are we doing? I did a vibe with myself. About it. Daddy. Let me get a ply those pliers. All right, break. Probably eating something around it. This is heavy as shit. Right. Should we put it on this? Put it on that bench.
heavy, right? No. What? You don't got like a rag, right? Yeah, I got a lot of them shits around here somewhere. So you see, like, this is the. This is the. Uh, watch on my view. This is the cylinder that was currently out of compression. Doesn't look bad. I'll give it a little shake, side to side, back and forth. Nothing. So that's a good sign. What I gotta check now. <clears throat> Once I clean this uh, antifreeze out the uh, block, I have to check if the yeah. cylinder walls have any scoring in it. Yeah, these these uh, things are weird. This is like silk, so it's not bad at all to do this. Good. All right, guys. So this is the last thing I'm filming for tonight. All right, I'm gonna go home. I'm gonna eat. So I'm tired. I wanna go home. I wanna eat. I'm gonna lay down. So boom. The way I take out these valves. Hey, I know it ain't the best way, but I know how to do it like this. It works for me perfectly fine. So I do it this way. Extension on me. Give it one great tap. What the fuck, bro? You don't need access spaces. What the fuck? I mean, you don't need, um, you know. Dial back. Damn. Damn. Y'all see that? Yo. Yo, looking at that? This guy. 
Let me chew the thing up. Took a bite out of it, sure. So, I'm not gonna be replacing all the valves just because um, I don't feel like it's really necessary, needed, whatever the case may be. Um, so I'm just gonna be replacing the four valves that were in that cylinder. I feel like it should be fine. Um, it's the only cylinder that was low on compression. So as soon as I get these in tomorrow, head will be going back in tomorrow. Hopefully the car should be running tomorrow. So, so it's basically gonna be a episode one on Chum's build. Well, on Chum's rebuild. So, see you guys tomorrow. Peace out.